the studios of Sondland University, this is Robcast, the light-hearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hello, listeners. Welcome to Robcast. Hello, Roger. Hello, Peter. Roger, I would like to talk to you about a referendum. Uh, the one in Ukraine? Uh, no, I know that most of our listeners may be thinking about that because it was held rather recently. But actually, this, since it's so dramatic, has drowned out another referendum you should be pretty familiar What? with, the Scottish referendum. Well, yes. And I'm pretty sure most people haven't even heard about it. Well, um, they, what's this about? They need to hear about it because it could be the, the beginning of the breakup of the U United Kingdom. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> how old is the United Kingdom? Not very old, actually, um, in something like its present form. In its present form, mm -hmm. it has only existed since 1922. Well, that's rather recent. Yeah. That's almost as young as the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> Because But, if, you, if you look at my passport, yes, the country I come from is called the United Kingdom mm -hmm. of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Okay. Northern Ireland. So you see, before 1922, mm -hmm. it was the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Until, th and then the separation. Then Ireland came. was divided. Mm -hmm. So since 1922, that's the way it's been. Okay. But coming back to that referendum, what is the question of the referendum? When is it taking place? Could you tell us a little yeah. bit about that? Well, let's just begin with um, Scotland has its own parliament. So there was um, an act of parliament that gave S Scotland its parliament back. Mm -hmm. And because um, its parliament had been a, an, abolished when the, the countries were united in 1707. Okay. So for a long time, Scotland had no parliament. It was given its parliament back. Mm -hmm. And right now, the strongest political party in the Scottish parliament mm -hmm. is the Scottish National Party. Okay. And that wants Scotland to be independent, wants to break away mm -hmm. from the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And now they're allowed to hold a referendum right. in September this year. They have been s allowed to do so by the British Parliament in the, London. The UK Parliament. The UK. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there is to be this referendum on the 18th of September uh -huh. where Scots, only the Scots, Mm -hmm. get to decide whether Scotland should become independent or remain part of the United Kingdom. Uh -huh. So there's a simple kind of yes-no question. Do you want Scotland to become an independent country or not? What would that mean for, for us? I mean, okay, it would not be part of the UK anymore. Right. But, for example, would Scotland then still be in the EU? This is, it's interesting, if you look at one website, the British government website, then mm -hmm. it seems pretty clear that that is no, not a certainty. Okay. If you look at the Scottish government website, mm -hmm. that seems to suggest, yes, of course, Scotland will remain in the EU, mm -hmm. because during the time after a yes vote, assuming there is a yes vote, mm -hmm. it would take a couple of years to work out the details. You wouldn't get independence overnight, clearly. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of things that have to change. Mm -hmm. And during those two years, Scotland would negotiate to stay in the EU. Maybe they adopt the euro. Well, that's another thing. Do they keep the pound or do they go for the euro? Uh -huh. As you can imagine, the euro is not very popular at the moment because it's seen... Well, I wouldn't know about Scotland. I know as the whole of the UK is not very hot about the euro, yeah. but I don't know how Scottish people think about it. I mean, the uh, Ireland has a euro. I don't think the Scots are in any rush to join the euro, no. Oh, okay, okay. Well, they would like to, I mean, officially, they would like to stay with the pound. And that, too, is very controversial. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, you're not from Scotland. No. So what would, you, what would you think? Would you like Scotland to remain or say, well, good riddance, bye-bye? <laughs> you know, it depends who you ask. If you ask the English, I mean, just people who are English living in England, uh -huh. then quite a lot of them say... Let Scotland go its own way. We don't need the Scots. Uh -huh. But that's not the official position. Okay. And I think if you go into it carefully, then you see more problems, and that is more negative things than positive, if Scotland breaks away. 
you sort of evaded the personal <laughs> question. I will ask you that again right. in our next podcast. Okay? All right. Okay. Bye for today, dear listeners. Take care and uh, download us again. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Thank you.